What's up, guys? Wanted to do a quick update on the prawns. This is my second batch of prawns, actually, that I'm kind of getting separating. They were getting way bigger than the other prawns, and I mean, developing color and all, getting real aggressive and whatnot. So I just went ahead and decided to split them up. Got my other tank ready. Yeah, it's only a couple of them in here. Let's see. Pretty jumpy as well, man. This one not jumping at all, which is good. Let's go ahead and put them in a new tank. Oh, of course he starts jumping as soon as I'm about to put him in a tank. But he's in there. All right, let's go from the tiny net so they don't jump out. To the big boy all right let's get this one right here now this one is a jumper for sure you can see the orangish color that's not just the, the bucket that's actually him or her hopefully they survive in this new tank let's get some better light There we go. Welcome to your new home. Alright, so that's two of them. This one is also pretty feisty. Here's number three. Welcome to your new home. And as you can see, they get right off the top, go straight to the bottom. They'll have plenty of space in here instead of uh, trying to bully all the, the smaller ones. And eating up the smaller ones and killing the smaller ones. Here's number four. You can see it's changing. Oh, 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 flippy, flippy. Number four. Again. Chilling on the top and straight to the bottom. And last but not least, number five. Now this one, I'm not sure why, but it does not do much movement. It's like it tries to play dead. It tries to play dead. I know you're alive. Get right off the top and go to the bottom. Well, that's all five guys. I'm trying to keep an update. Put some of this netting back in their other cage. And uh, let's give an update on everybody. All right, so this was the guy, the five guys that I just moved came from my second batch of prawns. All these prawns came from KT Prawns. Uh, you can see we still got some carrots and whatnot. I just fed them. Just fed them. I fed them a mixture of carrots. Some of them are big enough to eat the peas and carrots. Um, the other ones are definitely too small. So as you can see, it's a bunch of them in there. Uh, since I just pulled all of these things, I pulled a lot of stuff out of their cage. Uh, so that really stirred them up. And everybody's kind of in one area. But they're typically very separated. There's another big one. I probably should have pulled him out. But yeah, they're growing pretty. They're growing pretty good. Good. Sheesh. Growing pretty good. They're doing very well. Um, I haven't had any who just died anymore. 
I haven't had that since uh, I, when, when my first group of problems when I was uh, having the water pump on constantly. Now, I have had some who've been eaten and who's died from being eaten by the other prawns, but that's inevitable. It's gonna happen. I would assume that it's inevitable. I feed them properly. I make sure their parameters are correct. I have all my, my stuff. Make sure the pH is right, GH, et cetera, et cetera. Y'all know what parameters are. Anyway, and plenty of space for them to get away from each other, plenty of uh, separation and safe zones. But since I just stirred everything up, they're all in one spot. Now, here's the first group of prawns that I ordered. Well, actually, let's see how many. I have no idea how many I ordered, but uh, I think I'm only down to about 10. But as you can see, they are of a significant size. This one is about, I don't know, it's in water, so I would say it's probably about three and a half, three and a half inches from tail to claw. Yeah. But of course, you know, in, in water, they, they look smaller than what they actually are. You can see again some girth. This one's a little orange. I have some developing some blue claws and whatnot. And I just fed them as well. You can see one right behind him. Come on, autofocus. Let's cut the autofocus on. Autofocus, thank you. All right, well, as you can see, everything's going pretty well. This first batch, uh, I guess this, this is probably the smallest one. It's about two and a half inches from a tail to claw. And the rest of them about three inches, three and a half inches tail to claw. And I think I had them since July, probably three months, three months. Um, it seemed like this group was the same size as this group so I ordered about I'm, I honestly don't remember probably 50 over here and 100 over here I don't know but um, this group came about two weeks before this group but they were the same size both groups were the same size and actually, like I just showed you, well, this group, obviously, since there's less less prawns in here, and you can see this netting, there's bigger spaces. Um, you know, there's no need for me to separate the big guys because they have plenty, plenty, plenty of space to get away from each other. I mean, there's one there, there's one in the back. There's, there's many of them in there, but it's so spacious in there that they don't have to be crowded around. Uh, versus over here, you know, it's a little less spacious. As you can see, there was more over here, so I had more netting. Um, but yeah, these guys, these five came from this second group. And like I said, they were the same size, even two weeks apart. So I guess they might have came from the same. I have no idea. But regardless, everybody's doing good. They're still doing their prawny prawn thing, eating. Feeding and just looking like prawns. Exactly. Exactly. Well, there's an update. Have a good one.